Susie Wrong. Joy Drive with Dean Warren's film, TV and theatre reviewer. <clears throat> Susie Wrong, how many sleeps to go until we get to hang out with you? Is it four? <sighs> what is it? Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, I did. We're really hey, looking forward uh, to earlier it. Earlier on, earlier on in the program, there was a little advertising spot for the musical uh, fan girls that is coming to yes. Melbourne. Yep. Yeah. Have you seen as it? You, yes. As your trusted critic, I can highly recommend it. Oh, fabulous! That's great. We actually had um, the. It's fantastic. Yep. It's a lot of fun. It's just like amazing fun. I, I thought it was a. Great, great piece of uh, work and, you know, wonderful to see an, an original Australian musical do so well. Yeah. Susie, did you leave it questioning uh, how you, what you thought about fangirls before you went into it? Were you, were you sort of a bit uh, judgmental towards them? Oh, no, not at all. No? I, I've lived my whole life as a fangirl. Yes. Exactly. See, I see, I see no shame in it. Warren's a bit sort of sensitive about No, 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 because I was just reading about the show and how it came about and, and uh, Eve was saying that it was because of all the shame surrounding fangirls and yeah. the idea is you go in and then you come out without that shame. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's a very, it is a very sort of... Uh, fem- it's sort of like a gently feminist work, you know. There's all these things that society tells us to feel guilty about because it's not sort of serious enough on, or it doesn't contribute to uh, to what, whatever economic uh, priorities that people have, you know. And then they, they want to make you into people that are like not really human. But mm. actually admiring admiring artists is a big part of being human I think it's a big part of my life and we spoke about it when we were talking to Eve that it was that being a fangirl is just a pure expression of love joy excitement without any sort of you know those things that as we grow up we're told don't do this don't do that Mm. it's just completely pure and it is brilliant yeah Yeah. It yeah, is. it's silly. It's silly. Like when we were growing up, you know, uh, people were uh, admiring bands like Nirvana and that's cool. And if you like Kylie, you were really uncool. Those things are so stupid. I'm like, why, why would anyone want to have those values is beyond me. Mm. True. Let's just... Um, now, I'm, we're very excited because we're coming up to uh, go to opening night of Fun Home with you in Sydney. And I'm keen to see how uh, people respond to you in, the, in their foyers and the party. Wrong. Are they scared of you because you're a critic? Or do they grease up? Look, it's COVID, so you you kind of kind of want to just walk straight to your seat. And I, I'm not very good at the the mingling thing. You're not a schmoozer. No, it's very awkward. It's very awkward because I'm a wannabe actor on one hand, and on the other hand, people are really scared of me for being a reviewer. So it's really uncomfortable. Do you want it's us really to fangirl you? Yeah, we'll fangirl you. We'd probably just no. fan you, actually. <laughs> um, Susie, so you, you sent us the homework of Funny Boy, which is streaming now on Netflix in Australia. Um, tell us about it. It is a Canadian film set entirely in Sri Lanka in the years leading up to the civil war in the mid-80s. We see RG first as a small boy and then as a teenager, living a fairly privileged Oh. Oh, his life before the escalation of social unrest and before his family discovers that he's gay. The film is deeply nostalgic, containing lots of sumptuous imagery from when things were nice and idyllic, but also featuring prominently is an unrelenting climate of homophobia that RG has to deal with from day to day. In many ways, Funny Boy is a conventional coming-of-age queer film in that the central character goes through a traje- trajectory that feels completely unsurprising to those of us who have been there, but it is certainly valuable to observe these things from the perspective perspective of a South Asian context. I actually see a lot of my own childhood in that. Oh, did you? Singapore didn't have this conflict, though. I mean, I'm sure the, the, the there's two stories here in parallel, isn't there? There's the gay story, the conservative family and the being a Tamil family and, have, and not being able to have a gay son. There was all that drama about that. But also the sort of Montagues versus Capulets of, of him not only being gay, but in a relationship with um, a Singalese boy. And yeah. then on top of that, the civil war and the unrest in Sri Lanka during that time and how the, that sort of overshadowed all this folly of the gay thing. Like, wh- why is that important in a family that loves each other when you could all be losing your lives hiding in somebody's shed at night? Yeah. 
you know, especially from a distance from our perspective, you know, we look at them and we think like, you are just all Sri Lankan people, but you're creating all these difference between each other. And then at the same time, you know, we understand that people create differences in sexuality and gender where there shouldn't be anything. It's so much a part of humanity, unfortunately. And it's good to, to observe those two parallels, I think. Susie, indeed. One of the things that I really first half when you looked at it and you had was it Argy was the the boy the little boy's name and uh, he was interested in wearing lipstick and you could just see how uh, as families um, it is you know they project onto the boy and you could see it forming in his mind that oh there is something wrong with me like he was saying what's wrong with wearing lipstick I don't see what's wrong with it and you know the and, and questioning how can something that I decisions that the adults were making and I thought that was really brilliantly done I think the other one was um, why is something that girls do suddenly bad yes, when I do it mm, that was a good I mean line. how chilling is that why yep. why is it bad because I want to do it yeah the act activity itself isn't changing whatsoever and it was just instilling in him that he's a bad boy for wanting to do these things that he enjoys and you could just see it um, you know the impression being created on his mind Susie, do you know, was this shot on location entirely in Sri Lanka? Oh, let me have a look. Mm. I think so, actually. When I'm it's I remember reading so. It's beautiful and it's... Yeah, it's shot on location in Colombo. Yeah, it's beautifully shot and I don't know, there must be enough of Colombo that looks exactly like it did in the 80s, but these the homes are exquisite. You, you sort of look at... I didn't know enough about Sri Lankan politics and history. I mean, I knew about that basic conflict in the Civil War, but once you really start reading it, it's like, well, no wonder it's such an extraordinary hatred between these two groups. Yes, they're all Sri Lankan, but... Um, I mean, it's a long history of conflict. And then I, th I just think having that run side by side, it's not just a gay story. It's not just a coming out or coming of age story. It's this, it's, um, it's overlaid over this extreme hatred in, a, in that country. See, I didn't like that part of it, to be honest. I think it was good to get it. But I found that the first half really dealt with, you know, this kid growing up. And then the second half, I just felt, was a little bit more focused on, I think it was the Black July Killings from 1983 in Sri Lanka and um, you know I was left wanting to go and look at that and research it yep. and I sort of felt like um, the stories got a little bit confused as such and you know we, you know we were left to work out what happens with the boy um, there were a couple of other good things that I really liked about it and that was you know we all have that good family member don't we in this case it was an auntie or the aunt. uh, you know we either have a grandma or we have a family friend or someone who just accepts us for who we are yep. and the the importance of those people in our lives was really clear in this in this movie. I don't know. I don't think that all of us would have had that person. I don't think I did. So, mm -hmm. in a way, that person for me was Madonna, which is yeah. why I'm proud. I'm proud being a fan girl. Yeah. Um, you know, because um, people always you know uh, discount the, the 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 importance of of figures like that. Um, and when we say family, I think we pro Warren probably means friends as your, well. Your, um, your chosen family as well. And if Madonna is uh, the head of your chosen family, then that's cool. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> you know what else I liked is the switching between the uh, older and the younger self. I thought that yep. was really well done. The fact of when the you know someone was uh, uh, saying something that he wasn't good enough or, or making fun of him for playing cricket or what have you, or the mother was crying because they found out he was gay, whatever happens, he would go back and see his younger self there as well. And I just thought that was brilliant. And both actors, that younger RG and the older RG, are yeah. the most beautiful young men. I mean, the, it looks beautiful. The men, all the men in it are beautiful i mean the women also but it is one of my favorite accents like i could just listen to those boys speak i think it's interesting susie i mean i know it's a subtitled um film but the subtitler is just a little bit lazy or just assumes that you've got some knowledge of singalese i'm not sure but it yes, was extraordinary I that, too. that you sort of follow along and there's just enough english subtitles to keep you going which i think is kind of nice to sort of follow the vibe 
Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, I agree with Warren earlier that it, it gets a bit messy sometimes. Sometimes I do feel like it. It feels like it should be like an eight-part series because there's、mm. so much that goes on. You know, they're like you know、uh, rel- relatives from far away turning up in the house. That, that 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 sort of thing, which can which is so much to mine. Like so, there's so much content there, but to turn it into a two-hour, it did feel a bit convoluted at the end. I do think. <laughs> We're just speaking with Susie. We're not just. We are, in fact, speaking with Susie、the、Long, who's Susie、uh, Long. Joy Drive's theatre, film, and TV critic about the film Funny Boy, which is about two hours of、um, film, and it's streaming on Netflix at the moment. It's set in Sri Lanka in the early eighties, and so it deals with a sort of coming out homosexuality story, but also about the、um, political conflict between the Tamils and the Sinhalese, sort of overlaid on that. And I'll just put my two cents in on that. I thought that the two halves of the film, which you've you've sort of outlined, Warren, that sort of slow, am I aren't I gay? Can I can't I be with this boy? The reveal.、Mm. I thought the time taken to tell that story was beautiful, and then the fact that it becomes political very quickly and rushed. Well, yeah, but it was a frantic time by、mm. all accounts. So the fact that, and then I like the way that that then shows the brother who had been so mean to him all his life. He, the brother becomes his protector, and he's like, "Well, bugger that! I, none of that is a problem because we need to survive as a family." And that brought them together. So I think that that is good storytelling. But I, I, I agree with you too, Susie. That could be a mini series for sure. Yeah, it's a nice story about freedom, isn't it? Ultimately, because、mm. we, we, well, it is a bit of a spoiler. What happens at the end?、Mm. They do find some freedom, and it it is our our sort of、uh, pursuit as queer people. You know, we are、mm. always looking for a sense of freedom in our lives, in the stories that we tell, in the stories that we love, and I think this is a. About freedom for for people of Sri Lanka and for people of queer people、um, in Asia,、um, I think it, it's quite a lovely film. It,、oh. it does have its problems, but I think most people will enjoy it. It was very. I enjoyed watching it. it overall, I thought it had really interesting things to say about privilege as well. Like they're obviously both from very privileged、um, families from both sides of that political divide,、um, but they, you know. Well, as we all know, lost many of them lost it all because they had to become refugees. They had to escape that situation. They had to leave it all behind, and that's a story told so often in that part of the world. I think it was a great film to introduce、mm. us to Susie Wrong, and I congratulate you for it. And I congratulate you in person on Saturday,、uh, Susie. Now, what's our homework for next week? Bearing in mind that we'll be spending a lot of time with you in Sydney <laughs> <laughs> next week. A watch we're party. About Let's do it.、Home. No watch. Oh, we are. Oh, fabulous. What are we talking about? Fun home. The fun show home. that we're seeing. Because、oh. that, that is going to come to Melbourne. We have to do work. Because <laughs> <laughs> I、so、know very. Fun home opens in Sydney this weekend, runs until twenty ninth of May, and I think it opens in Melbourne early next year. I believe it's coming to Melbourne with MTC because it was meant to be in Melbourne first.、Last、I understand,、year. yeah, and then that was COVIDed,、um, and so yes, I'm very interested to so, see. It so in we're going to walk in with our little notepads. And microphones. And microphones. Yeah. No, look. If you don't remember stuff, that means it's unmemorable. Oh. So you you just walk away with things that you remember. Okay, great.、And、we'll just have、Ooh. a chat with it on um a chat about it on Tuesday next week. Yeah, yeah. I look forward to it. Nobody will. Listeners, relax. You can't do your homework unless you're in Sydney and you want to come to see Fun Home. Susie Wrong, you're a legend. When do you want to see us? Thank you, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Yeah.